I hope you guys are safe at home. So today we'll be looking at this uh, magic forest effect. So uh, for this, the first thing you'll need to do is download this uh, forest uh, cartoon forest pack. It uh, download the dot .obg, obg file, and if you want to use textures, I didn't use textures, but if you want to use textures, then also download the map dot file too. I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So uh, now we need to go into the Blender, create three collection. One will call main. The second one will be called forest. My keyboard isn't working well, and the last one is going to be grass. Now this isn't just for organizing, well it is for organizing obviously but there are other reasons that this is going to be a lot more easy to do, do things this way. So first of all select the main collection and shift A, mesh, plane, S8, tab into edit mode, oh I forgot to turn on my shortcuts so let me just turn them on. So in edit mode right click, subdivide and uh, add the number of 50 subdivision I think that's good enough for it for now and uh, also add in a cube s y 9 and uh, g x to move it on this side shift a mesh another plane r y 90 and s y 9 to this one too and g x to move it backward as well and shift a empty plane axis G X and move it at the back as well. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is select this cube, face select mode and select the back face and S Z zero, and then select the front face. G X to move it a little bit over here and then Control B to give it a bevel. But here and then select everything and subdivide it a couple of times. <clears throat> and then shade smooth it, shade smooth the ground. Sh um, yeah, so um, now we're going to create the grass. I'm going to hide the main collection for now. So the grass isn't, uh, the grass isn't included in a pack, so that's why I'm going to be using one of Ducky uh, tutorial tricks. He, he learned it from somebody else's tutorial. I don't remember the original source. So uh, taking a me uh, mesh plane, name it grass so that we can remember it. Tab, drag it mode SX to just move it about 27 to go into top view. Control R to add in the loop cuts, add in a few of them, and O to turn on proportional writing. Select the uppermost uh, um, vertex and SX and uh, use the proportional writing to see how we line, want it. And I'm just going to scale it zero and uh, also GZ to move it a little bit up, 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 upward and then shade smooth it. Add in a modifier. This is going to be the array modifier. I'm going to add a count of 10. Um, you can do more or less, depends upon you. And then click on copy. This will add another array modifier. So go downwards to the second modifier and change this to 0 and change this to 1. So now we have a, a patch of grass, but we're still not done with this one. So uh, apply both of the modifiers. And then RX90 to move it in the front view. Tab to go into edit mode, select everything and uh, move it about over here. You know, this orange dot, this is its origin, so we need it to be about I think over here. So now, uh, this part is important. This is why we added the grass in a separate collection than the forest. So, mesh separate by loose parts. So now they are all individual uh, grasses, patches. So now, everything is still selected. So type, uh, click on space, uh, the, um, open the search bar and uh, type in randomize and select randomize transform so now the uh, menu is open over here you can uh, change the location of it to uh, the, uh, on, on x y the uh, rotation it's you know all dependent upon you so i'm just going to randomize it and then uh, with everything still selected i'm going to go control j and now they're back into a, a one patch of grass and it's completely a lot of randomization in it so hide this now select the uh, now select the uh, first collection and uh, we have a uh, download this from the link and we're going to import it file import dot obj you probably have it in your downloads but i have it in my on my desktop so 
I'm just going to import it. When it's imported, you'll see that it's pretty big, uh, but it's still low poly, so just scale it down by a lot. Now notice that it has uh, this island. We don't need the island. We only need trees, and we need the trees to be individual. This is just one big bad uh, big model. So tab, we're going to edit mode. And for those who want to use the textures, these seams are already marked. These blue lines, these are seams uh, that are already have been marked. So deselect everything and um, hover your mouse over this island. Then click on L, and then hover uh, on this plane and click on L and X delete faces because we don't need them. So uh, I'm just going to show you the method of how to separate uh, and text, uh, material or texture one of them, one of the trees, and you can repeat the process on all of them. So Z wireframe, going to top view. I'm going to just wait for this one, and you should be in wireframe mode if you want to just do it like this, or you can use the second method in pure and solid mode, and you can just you know click on L to select this you know, parts of it, uh, and then you know separate it later on. But so, so I want to go to top view Z wireframe C. To select this and you know, and now this is one tree is selected. So if you can you know, now mesh, separate by selection. Now tab out to go in, out of the edit mode. Now you can see that uh, this one is now uh, a separated one. Hide this uh, original forest. Click on this one. Now the problem is that its origin is over here, so we need to change its origin. Tab and go back in edit mode. Select everything again. Seven. And uh, it's going to top you and then G to move it about over here and then uh, G to uh, GZ to move it downwards. So check from every angle that it's still in the origin. I think it is. So now for the material part, it's already has uh, different materials by default. But you know, uh, I'm going to just going to give the materials. I'm not going to um, be adding the, the textures because that will take way too long, and we don't, we just don't mind that. So I'll just deselect everything. Go into render view. Render view and click uh, click L to select the trunk and assign it one material. In the same way, deselect and then deselect it. Then uh, click on L and you know assign it in the materials. The same way we can do it on the different parts of it. So you can you know you can just get this uh, simple sort of look, uh, but I already have uh, a complete forest park over here. You can uh, just do the same with all the uh, others of it. Uh, the, a lot of these things are just duplicates and scaled in different sizes, so you can just do one type of tree and then the particle system will take care of the rest. So I don't need this uh, this one because I already have another collection made for this purpose. So I'm going to delete it for now. So now um, I'm just going to uh, now it's the time for the main collection. I think it's shade smooth. Oh yeah. So the first thing we need to do is uh, paint the plane, this plane, and this empty to this uh, effector. So uh, select the plane, then Control, then Shift to select this. Control P to object. Now this is. Paint it properly. Now select the empty, and then shift select this, uh, this, and then cl click Control P again, and then paint them too. So uh, now we're going to add the keyframes for this. Select this uh, over here. Going to mode location I, and then um, about I think frame yeah, over here is good enough. GX move it about all the way over here. Uh, these two should also be covering. Uh, be moved. Enough that they're not uh, touching the plane at the end. Okay, so now I to add in a keyframe again. So if now that's done, select uh, keep this selected. We're going to add in a modifier, uh, displace modifier, new texture, texture coordinate should be global, strength 0 0.5. And now we're going to go to a texture, it's supposed to be clouds, and size 1 will be good enough. The advantage of having it on global is that you know it is these are just moving randomly, so you know they're not so uh, stable. So with that, now we're going to be uh, adding the dynamic page settings. But first, we need to add in our vertex group. So select the plane, create our vertex group, new. We'll call this uh, forest. My keyboard is not working properly, and uh, 
we are going to add dynamic paint, canvas, add canvas, keep it service, vertex, frame, and frame is great. The surface type changes to weight, and then uh, on the output, vertex group, delete this, and then add in the forest one we did before. Before and uh, click on this plane over here, and uh, we're going to add dynamic paint to it too. But this time, this is going to be a brush, add brush, and change it to mesh volume plus uh, proximity. This one, this one. So with that, uh, with that set, uh, now we're going to add the particles to it. But first, uh, I think we should add the. Uh, but first, I think we need to work on the materials first. So this one is the most simple one. Just to give it a transparent. VSCF, blend mode, alpha clip, shadow mode, none, and turn on bloom ambient occlusion. I accidentally had the uh, screen filter fraction on. So uh, now for this one, uh, materials for this one, go into the shader editor, new, delete the principal VSCF, add in a mix shader, add uh, duplicate it, connect it to the lower part over here. Of this and change the blend mode of this to uh, alpha blend and shadow mode to alpha uh, shadow mode of to non. Add in a transparent PSCF on the upper part. Add in an emission shader. Duplicate this one. Give it a strength of mm, three. Add them over here and uh, change the upper one to yellow. And the lower one to blue. The weird part is that um, it still doesn't detect it for some reason. The yellow one, but the effect it look good, so I just kept it that way. So now add in a color ramp, duplicate it, add this one over here and this one to this one, and the upper one move the black part to about over here, and the lower one move the white part to about here. Add in a um, shift A and avoid noise texture. Add in the color over here and uh, change this the scale to about two. Add in a mapping node and texture coordinate. Coordinate, but this one is going to be a uh, object, and the instance object is going to be Plane two, two, and uh, plug this up to this one over here. Now uh, we also need to add in a gradient texture, a separate x y z. Plug in the x to the vector. Duplicate the texture coordinate and mapping node. Change this to generated and the vector to this over here. Now let me just uh, have a look at it. Yes, this looks good enough. This actually looks better than the original. Now select the plane, give it a new material. We're going to call this one uh, grass. This is going to be the same material for the grass as well. So I'll just uh, give the grass the same material uh, too. Oh, this was supposed to be plain. This is plane number zero three. Um, we have to change the uh, plane number zero three should be that one. This one. Okay. So now we're going to work on this material. Uh, wait. Going to the shader editor. Move specular. Increase the roughness. Remove the shape. Change it. Remove the clear coat roughness. And. Um, Add in a mix shader, duplicate it, add in a color ramp, move the color ramp to about here, move this to the factor, add in a separate, separate XYZ node. Add in a gradient texture to X because we're going to move it from this. Add in a mapping node, texture coordinate node, 
generated into the uh, the overlay and um copy this setup oh, I forgot to connect these two uh, we don't need these two for uh, this one let's move it uh, longer we're about here and um switch this to a uh, object and the object should be should be empty I will delete these two I actually sort of messed up okay so shift a noise texture give it a scale of 15 Add this color to this one, this to this one, duplicate it, and connect this one to over here. Okay, the uh, this one is going to be the grassy one. So give it that sort of color, and this one is going to be our ground one. So now uh, this is the final setup. Just in case you were confused, let's go into um, the three D viewport. I'll just show you. Okay, so this is how our ground is going to change. Um, I think we need to add the sunlight, light, sun. Is that uh, the default looks good enough for me? So now um, I'm going to add in the particle system. We are going to be three particle system. The first one is the simplest one, so I'm going to go with that. Mesh, uh, Icosphere, to move the subdivisions to level one. GZ to move it downwards. Uh, give it a material, a simple emission material will do. Give it a strength of five. Uh, this reddish color. Oh, and I hope I told you to turn on bloom and ambient occlusion. So the particle system is going to be on this plane over here. Add the particle system. U. It should be an emitter. The end should be frame to 30. I think that should be good enough. Uh, turn off gravity. Add in a turbulence with a strength of 30. Now back to the system. Turn, uh, keep the gravity off. Inside of halo, go to object. Instance object is going to be the the uh, icosphere and uh, scale should be 0 0.1 randomized scale completely completely and uh, add in a texture new we're going to texture settings ensure the uh, image of plane going to change it to blend general time reduce it and size to uh, minus one this way they're going to shrink when they're about to fade away to uh, you know give it more of a dynamic look I think that's about it for Yes, that's all right for this texture or oh, this particle system. Now the second, uh, the other two, they're both going to be on the plane. So add into particle system. Both of them are going to be here. So the first one is going to be called forest. The second one is going to be the grass one. So the first the grass one, change it to, from part to object. Keep the scale and uh, select the instance object to be grass. Mm, turn on advanced. Click on rotation and then set it to normal. This way the glass looks better. I think uh, increase the number to about 1500. And in the in the length, uh, click on the uh, click on the plane and create a vertex group and name it forest. Now go back to the particle system and in the length. Add the first one, so uh, this way the dynamic paint will work. I think that's uh, it for this settings. Now uh, the first one, in the first one again, click on advance rotation. Rotation should be normal. 
and in the render as what in this time is going to be collection the forest collection that you created i'm keeping the scale and instead selection is going to be the forest one you see over here uh craft on object but uh, the number should be reduced i think 200 is good enough and the same thing in the length add in the forest collection now when we uh, play it It's really slow in my view, even my viewport because there are so many particle systems and so many things. That's why, uh, yeah, the dynamic movement is okay. They're appearing. I'm just going to show it, uh, it to you in rendered view. See, so I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, tell a friend to learn it too, um, and stay safe. So see you next time. Goodbye.